Oh shit, okay, that's a that's a thing I cannot break. Oh, and once again, there's this power-up that's a saw blade, and every time I touch it, I go the wrong way and don't actually get to use it. It just runs me straight into a wall. <laughs> it's a great, great power-up. Oh, wow, speaking of Meat Boy, that's on flash sale right now since the item sale started today. Nice. Yeah, anything amazing on sale? Like, I saw, like, RPG Maker VX Ace is on a pretty good sale again. Yeah, 1750 on flash sale. Meat Boy right now is 3 bucks, which... <laughs> Get Sorry. Meat Boy. Yeah, Meat Boy's definitely a good choice. Gone Home is five dollars. Oh and right. Prototype okay. Two is ten. Gone Home might be is definitely worth out of five bucks, even though it's fairly short. All right, this time let's see what this does. All right, that's pretty sweet. I'm glad I went. Glad I got that. Now I've got like no health. Ultra Eevee, please don't fake subscribe. Wait, what happened? They did backslash me, just subscribe. Oh, jeez. So, I can tell just because... You might be a subscriber, I'm not sure. But, um, all they did was slash me, and because it was green, I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody's making a fool out of Plock, then they're gonna pay. He doesn't like being diddled, underst understandably. <laughs> well, the fact that it happened again seems to be probably giving him a little bit of a reflex trigger here, or a little reaction. Can't remember the phrase. Re reflex word is diddled again, apparently. Or trigger word, that's the phrase I'm looking for. Jeez. Also, other deal today on Scene that I recommend. Sorry. That I recommend is Walking Dead. That game is fantastic. So for six twenty-five, definitely pick that up. Is that the whole thing or just the first season? Or oh, sorry. Uh, just... It's the first full first season. Okay. No, that that is definitely a good deal. I I actually yeah I was thinking the the four hundredth day or whatever it is the the semi expansion. Oh yeah, the DLC that's on sale for two. 50, I think. I know that wasn't as long as the original game, but is it still fairly good? Like, I never played it. I didn't play it either, but I, it, I it's pretty short. I know that. Like, I think it only took people like two or three hours to beat. Jeez. But for 250, I mean, it's not that bad. Oh, and apparently Season 2 is on sale for pre purchase. Wait, it's on sale, really? but it's not even out yet? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I know I can pre-order, but it's on sale before during a pre-order. That seems kind of Walking crazy. Dead Season 2 is 10% off right now for twenty two fifty. Wow. Go Telltale. I heard, I was, I heard they also made something else recently. Oh, The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, The Fables. Is that out yet? Uh, the first chapter's out. I know, okay. I know that Sean has it, so that's how I know of it. Shit! Shit! Oh, no, I'm still alive. Getting sick of this... Okay, I get it, I get it. I'm not daring to move anymore, because I feel like I'm not going to beat this stage if I do. Oh. Flex your poop, says Mr. Shasta. I don't know if that's something you should be proud of. Have you been, <laughs> diddled, have you been diddled, Mr. Shasta? Is this giving you PTSD? I just got a tweet from someone saying, I've been diddled again, Plock1993. He was diddled the first time when they put that line in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of Plock. It, it was fun to diddle around in it, though. Jeez. Also, Luigi Man, they, Luigi Man bought his first game today on Steam. It was VVV, VVVV. Good choice. There's going to be many, many more games to buy on Steam. <laughs> Yeah, when, you got to be careful buy? when you buy your first Steam and the sale. You notice the sales are starting. You're kind of screwed. Yeah, I'm up to 343 games I think on I have, Steam. I think I have 250, but I think that also counts combined with uh, Sean and Nathan. It, it's scary how many games you get on Steam once you account for like humble bundles and like 
all the other bundles that are out there. Okay, so I can't The first run. thing I bought on Steam was the Valve Complete Pack. So I bought everything they made at once, and I was just like, okay, I'm good. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the stage, because it seems like when I just get down a hill, they just throw everything at me, and I can't dodge it in time. I gotta make sure I don't lose my sweet, sweet score, though. Rear from Achievement Hunter needs to play this game. <laughs> just for diddling time. It's scary. I think yesterday, Ray from Achievement Hunter posted it on his Twitter, his Xbox gamer card. Ooh. And it was like, like 445 games he has 100% achievements in. That is... Well, I mean, and all things considered, considering what his main show is. His job is, yeah. And I think his gamer score is like 375,000. That's it? Like, I know there are people who have million gamer scores, so... But then again, you probably have to play a lot more than 400 games. Yeah, and I imagine since, like... Shit. He can't. He can't probably play as much as he likes since, like, one one major game comes out. He has to spend so much time on that one game. Yeah, that's true too. There we go. All right, pirate flag. This has gone beyond a joke. Says Block. Oh, the world record is 955k gamer score. Wait, I thought I thought someone had broken a million by now. I think those were cheaters, if I remember right. Oh, well, never mind. Apparently, I'm now fighting the Bobbins brothers, who are behind all these shenanigans. My grandpappy warned, warned me about you. What a bizarre game. I love how that island is now full of, like, scarves and underwear. Alright, let's see how I'll... Let's see how I'll, I'll boss fight isn't Plock. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Woof. <laughs> that, went, that went fantastic. Holy fuck. They are very random in their movement. Holy shit. What? Oh, you know what the best part is? Okay, A, I was on normal. Uh, B, I think it's actually impossible. I have to start from the beginning of the game now if I was to start again. Let me test, test this theory. Yep, sure enough. The uh, I believe the save point was actually defeating that boss. That's rough. Wow, that's a hell of a checkpoint. <laughs> People are just screaming, John's been diddled again! <laughs> and through searching the guy the Guinness World Record holder is Stallion83 and his gamer score currently is 955,140 wow okay never mind <clears throat> alright you know what I'm good with going back to the cookie uh, <laughs> this game seems interesting but if I have to keep going that far back it's definitely bad for a stream <laughs> Jesus what's with the scary bosses tonight <laughs> All right, you want to take a guess to how many games that guy's played? The guy with 900k? Yeah. Well, I mean, since the most the game is worth is 1,000, that means at the very least he'd have to have played 950. But considering it's probably a bunch of XP light tiles worth 200 each, I'm going to say close to 2,000. 1,540. Mm -hmm. Fairly high either way. With an 80% completion rate on those 1,500 games. Oh my god, that's scary. Alright, let's jump to the cookie. Sorry, Plock. But you've been diddled for the last time. I, I don't know how to treat that, that comment, I guess. <laughs> Alright, what am I going to put down as my replacement game? Alright, my replacement game is going to be Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1. Ooh. Uh, I played the 64 version. I'm oh, sorry. It's good, uh, but the uh, the cutscenes in the PS1 version are A, cutscenes, and B, actually voice acted. <laughs> so Because they're just stills in the N64 one. 
All right, so our choices are Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1, Bomberman Act Zero Multiplayer, and the following three games. Oh my god. Metroid Prime for the GameCube. <laughs> Silent Hill for PlayStation 1. Holy shit, this is a good cookie round. And Pikmin for the GameCube. Holy fuck, that's a that's a ridiculous Whoa. round to vote on. Those are Jeez. all the only bad game on there is Bomberman X Zero. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see where that straw pull is. I think I know my vote. <laughs> Flat Mets is gonna vote Bomberman anyways. All right, click on Dan the Enigma straw poll link. Let's see what game's gonna win. I have and don't get banned again. I have no idea what game it's gonna be, and I'm kind of scared. It's it's well, I was gonna say it's very even, but it looks like Pikmin has a 32% lead right now. Silent Hill is at 20%. Spider-Man's at 17. Metroid Prime is at 16, and Bomberman's at 15. Bomberman is at the bottom of the list for once. That rarely ever happens. It, this it is, is honestly one of the closest ones yeah. ever. Well, I mean, Pikmin still has a 10% lead, so by the looks of it, it's probably going to be Pikmin. Because we're already up to about 600 votes. Mm. There would have to be a huge surge of votes for Silent Hill or Spider-Man, or even Metroid at this point. As much as I'd like to play Sp Silent Hill or Spider-Man, I, I think it's looking like it's going to be Pikmin. But I'm going to give it 30 seconds anyways. Turn off Plock in the meanwhile. Oh, Silent Hill's actually gaining a tiny bit of ground. 21% to 29 for Pikmin. But we've got 15 seconds left on the vote, so if you're going to do a, a surge of votes, you might want to do it now. Nine, eight, seven. Yeah, Pikmin went back up a percent. Six, five, four, three, two, one. When we come back from this intermission break, Pikmin for the GameCube is going to be the game of choice. That was a rough round. Holy cow. Look at all those different games. Unbelievable. Those are all good choices. Man, I'm kind of choked up by that. <laughs> I would have been happy with playing like any of those games, to be honest. Although Pikmin just gets to show how bad I am at Pikmin, so I guess maybe the chat will enjoy that. <laughs> Oh, people are asking me to do an AI game. Uh, and I'll do that after. Okay, remind me when I get back. I gotta, I gotta go fill up my water and use the washroom. But remind me when I get back that I gotta set up an AI game for people to vote on. Okay. Right.
broke my headset. Do you have any idea of what you're going to use for your AI game tonight? Uh, it might be... Uh... I have a couple of ideas. You any... Do you have... Yeah. have you have any of the Worms games? I don't think I have any of the console ones, only PC ones. No, I I think let me let me just check here in a second. All right, so we're gonna try to set up an AI game for tonight. So for those of you who haven't been to the past couple streams, AI games is basically uh, we just set the AI to some ridiculous setting in a, another game, and we just keep tuning in on it every now and then, and people just vote in the straw poll for who they think's gonna win. Last night was or last night last last stream was Smash 64. Stream before that was Mario Party 2. Uh, Any of the wrestling games? Hmm. Wrestling games I can't. Do a battle or. The problem with the wrestling games is we can't really make it simple to figure out who would win. Mm. And I don't think... Oh, let me just check uh, backlog or see if I have any console ones. Worms. Uh, apparently I own Worms Armageddon for Game Boy Color. <laughs> no, all the Worms games I have I can't stream. Mm. So that's out. WF No Mercy. Uh, people are people are saying do a do a Royal Rumble. Uh, you know what? Ah, uh, fuck it. Why not? Let me just get WWF No Mercy. Oh wait, no, we can't do No Mercy because you can't vote on who would win because it's a Royal Rumble. People get kicked out all the time. You, I, that would be a big straw poll. Yeah. It'd be a thirty-person straw poll. All right, no, I think I think we'll just do Mario Party three. Mm. We'll do a fifty turn of Mario Party three. The only downside is now I got to figure out where the hell Mario Party three is on my list or in my pile here. I need to get that set up that Brad tweeted me today. Did you see that tweet? That ridiculous, uh, that ridiculous game collection where all the N sixty four games have labels on the side. That show the picture of the label on the front of them. Ooh, that's cool. It's, it looks really nice. You know, the keeping the loop of the chat's like, no, we want a different game. Eh. They're saying you could also do a Fatal Four Way. Fatal Four Way's not a bad idea. Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe for some variety, we'll do a Fatal Four Way. Um. Problem is, I gotta figure out where No Mercy is. But you think it'd be easy because it's one of the few black, black carts. Ones. Yeah, I know. But I've got like half a dozen black carts here. Tara. <laughs> I was watching. Oh uh, yeah. Power Rangers is apparently a black cart. Really. Turok Rage Wars. Oh God, I just killed Yoshi. I'm so sorry, Yoshi. <laughs> Someone else suggested Rugrats Treasure Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I played that game so much when I was little. Two of the Turok games are red cards, or at least maybe three, because I think Turok 3 is also a black card. Alright, let's just hashtag John knows black ones. Not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if No Mercy actually works. That will be the miracle in and of itself. And I wonder if I st still have my memory card for this thing. Oh, that's another good suggestion someone had for later. Do a football game with 15-minute quarters. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea, too. Oh, man. I gotta see if I got any of my ridiculous creative characters on for No Mercy. <laughs> if I do, then this will be great. Alright, let's jump back over here for a second. If No Mercy goes by super fast, then we'll do the football suggesting. I've got Blitz here. I can throw that on. Ooh. Wait, which one? Little League? Uh, the original. Or, like, oh, okay. 99, I think. Uh, how do I set this up? God, it's been so long. Exhibition. Exhibition. No, it's not in there. Oh, but I could make a King of the Ring. I'm going to make a King of the Ring.
All right, so eight players in the King of the Ring. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing some courses not being available. I think it, maybe my save's not on this card anymore. Right, fight a Raw. No time limit. No count outs. P only pin submissions and knockouts. No rope breaks. No disqualifications. There's bloodshed's okay. And interference is okay. Does that have any money? Oh, it does, totally. God, you're gonna, this is going to be like a weird look back at my ridiculous like <laughs> mentality as a kid. Because here's like, I have Mr. T. I have Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter. It's a really good Mr. T. Yeah, uh, these are all like creator wrestlers I saw on GameFAQs. Uh, there's a bunch of my teachers from high school. <laughs> there's Bruce Lee, apparently. Uh, there's Guile with as close as you could get to Guile's hair in this game. And then, of course, the piece of resistance is my own creative character, which makes no sense at all. He's wearing a top hat, <laughs> a red vest, Kurt Angle knee gloves, bizarrely, like, <laughs> giant white shorts. Oh, oh, and I had, I had four different versions of it. Oh, my God, I forgot about this. Holy shit. God, I was a weird kid. Good thing I turned into a weird, <laughs> good thing I turned into a weird adult. Oh, my God, these are all amazing. Holy shit. Fuck, I was hilarious as a kid. I go for weight, it's just exclamation points on some of them. <laughs> ah, John Sunday attire. Oh, people are saying put all four Johns in. Oh, I wonder if I can. I gotta see if I can try to do that. Alright, we got John in. We've got John in. We've got John in. We've got John in. <laughs> We've got Ken in. We've got Ryu in. We've got Mr. T in. And we've got Guile in. <laughs> this might be a stack deck. Jesus. <laughs> this could be a, such a stack deck. Only one Jonathan Wheeler will survive the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> All CPU. This is going to be the dumbest thing. All right. So, someone whip up a straw poll. Tenmar or Dan, if either of you are on it. Um, <laughs> we'll put up a straw poll for see which John wins. Do one per bracket. I can't control where they go. Oh, I have to put them in a different order. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, alright, we'll change it up that way. Alright, so it's gonna be John versus Ken. John versus Ryu. John versus Mr. T. And then John versus Guile. Yeah, there we go. Much better. So there is a John in every bracket now. So theoretically, the final could be yourself versus yourself. Yes. I kind of hope it is, actually. <laughs> Why is John 3 getting so many votes? Is he? <laughs> is he? I don't know. I'm voting. F I should have to vote for John 1. Yeah, well, look at John 1 getting so many votes. Holy crap. All right, we'll see which John wins it. Click, click on Stra Dan Strawfall to make your vote. I'll, st I'll start off. I want to see the beginning of the first match before we jump to Pikmin. All right, I got to see this. All right, and my nickname in game was Psychosis because I don't know. <laughs> because 10 years ago. Because it's more than that, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is like 15, though. This is 2000, yeah. Dick, dick it a dog. Oh, Y2J was my intro and everything. Oh my god, this is bringing me back. This is hilarious. I played this game way too much as a kid. Look at this amazing intro. Holy shit. Look at those. Ryu's in last place. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, my, my subtitle is Destruction, and I'm walking in with Trish Stratus. <laughs> and I have a I have a kendo stick for some reason. Oh, and Ken has Takamisha Nodu's theme. Jesus! Break the walls down! <laughs> oh my God! I kind of want to play this game proper now, actually. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got <laughs> we've got myself. Fighting Ken from Street Fighter will be coming back to this throughout the night. 
Johnny, you have to manually start the matches in this game during the tournament. Yes, I do. So we're going to be popping back here fairly frequently, actually. But uh, now that that match is going on, you can see my amazing kick moves. We're going to jump over to Pikmin. <laughs> Although, I really just kind of want to watch this. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, N64. We're going to Pikmin. And I can't do pitcher and pitcher. I wish I could. I wish I could, but it's the same card. God, I haven't played Pikmin in so long. I'm not even not sure if I'm going to know how to play this game anymore. The minute you did Pikmin, people started talking about Steve, the red Pikmin. Oh, I'm unsurprised. Come on. <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. I have to start from scratch because I do not have a save. Oh, come I on! Is my memory card glitched again? Sorry, John. What were we going to say? I said I was watching Top Down Perspective tonight, and I just love, like, the shelf behind you when you're recording that, po when your podcast. Oh, just the giant wall of games? Yeah. <laughs> the device in slot eight like, not I win. What is with this memory card? I was told this was supposed to be a good memory card, but apparently that's a piece of shit. Well, I guess we're not saving Pikmin. Your memory card has been diddled again. <laughs> It worked fine for Eternal Darkness. I wonder why it won't work now. Oh, well. Meanwhile, show the WF match. Now nah, we're just going to go straight into the game. This sounds oddly creepy for what is a goofy game. People are saying next fortune cookie stream should be called next stream fortune cookie been diddled edition. Oh, or or, or did, diddled again edition. Twitch admins like looking through all the titles of streams and he's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. I am honestly surprised. What game was it we played last stream that I put in the list? I was like, "How am I not getting in trouble for this?" Can you remember? There's some game where I kept making the comments like, "How am I not getting in trouble for this?" Uh, the one last night. On on like Monday, yeah. Oh, um. I forget what game it was. Spanky's Quest, people? Are yes, saying? that was it. Thank you, Chad. You guys are all on the ball tonight. Alright, let's see if I can remember how the hell to play Pikmin. I got my dubstep whistle going. There's very few games that are actually banned on Twitch. Well, we I... know, based thanks to Patrick, we know that f uh, Fuck Quest 2 is one of them. <laughs> well, another one's Leisure Suit Larry, the original Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah, because I know Luca got in trouble for that one. Yep. 